Well, today we're going to be making roast chicken. And the reason we make our own roast chicken is because we have certain ingredients that we happen to like, and certainly some you might like. You can get them at the store and they're okay, but these are really very easy to make. And you can put your own ingredients, like we have very fresh rosemary, we have garlic, we have lemon. That's our favorite, so that's what we make it with. So let's begin by stuffing the uh, chicken here with uh, lemon and garlic. Just get it all in there, lemon, garlic, and finally we'll put in the rosemary. All right, stuff the rosemary in there, get it all the way in there. Then we're going to tie it up. Whoops, one of the garlic got away. Look out. Don't want that to happen. I love my garlic, so I want that to be in there. We're going to do a little trick here. We're going to tie the string. We're going to tie up his leg, put that around that little knot around there, and pull that tight. Then we can put their little legs together and just wrap it around any way you want to. Just wrap it around, wrap it around. It's, voila, it's all secure. So, let's do the outside now. We'll start putting a little bit of olive oil on the outside. Rub that in. And then we want salt and pepper on both sides. So we'll start with a little pepper and some salt. Put some salt on there. Salt's good, then we'll flip him over. Put a little more olive oil on there. Do a little more pepper. Spread that out. A little more salt. There we go. Put that all around. And then, once I get it all put in place, I just really make sure I've got it all covered. All covered on both sides, all of his legs, all of his wings, everything. So, now that he's all covered on both sides, we're going to put them both in the pan. All right, we're ready to put the chickens in the pan. But first, I want to say that we've preheated the oven to 425. We have several things here. We have some garlic and some onions and some carrots, and we're going to put this in the bottom of the pan. We've kind of doused that with some olive oil so that it will stay nice and moist. And um, we're going to pour this in last, this uh, chicken broth last. We're going to set the chickens right in on top of those vegetables and those vegetables will cook. Now we've used a rack and you might can experiment with that. Every oven is different, uh, whatever you want. Then we're going to pour in the chicken stock. And this is about two cups. We have experimented with that too. And if you don't put enough in there, the vegetables get scorched. So you have to have enough of that. And if you want to put a little lemon in there, just kind of accent on the top there, because we have lemon, remember, inside. So it's going to permeate uh, the chickens with that flavor, which is fantastic. So we're going to stick this in the oven. I've washed my hands many times. So I'm going to wash my hands one more time, then I'm going to stick this in the 425 oven and wait for it to cook. Well, here's our finished product. We have the lovely roasted chicken with vegetables and garnish, a little sauce. This is the one for later for dinner. This is the one for me right now. So I'm going to get just a little bit of that right there and taste it. Oh, they're so wonderful. The lemon and the garlic that was inside the chicken has come through into the meat and it's absolutely delicious. So try this. Go to StanTube, S-T-A-N-T-U-B, dot com and try this recipe. I think you're going to love it.